Investigative reporter John Charlton is joining me here to break it all down. John, what'd you learn? Well, Doug, uh, Kentucky, through the Cabinet for Economic Development, put up $15 million of taxpayer money, as we heard several times, to invest in Brady Industries with an expected return of hundreds of jobs. So the question is, how much of that was a gamble? Last month, with a promise to be transparent in the Brady Industries deal, Governor Andy Bashir released a stack of documents involving agreements over investors' rights, board voting, and stock purchases. As with most investments, there is an element of risk involved, and that's spelled out in the preferred stock purchase agreement. However, the state has protected itself with what it calls triggering events. That is, if certain goals are not met, Kentucky can pull out of the deal. There are four of them. The first goal was to begin construction of or site preparations for the aluminum rolling mill by June 30th, 2018. The triggering event was met due to the groundbreaking ceremony which occurred on the first of that month. By the end of the year, this year, the company has to prove it has a billion dollars available for building and equipping the mill. Brady Industries had to prove it allocated at least $25 million of the common stock offering money for mill construction. That was supposed to have happened within 90 days from March 2, 2018. And finally, by June 1, 2022, the company must prove at least 51% of its workforce and its assets are in Kentucky. And if any of those triggering events are not met, Brady Industries has to return Kentucky's $15 million investment plus interest, 8% interest, each year since May 4th, 2017. For Focus, I'm John Charlton. All right, thank you very much, John.